Heroes inspire us to be our best. But what makes a hero a superhero? Well, a super suit, of course. Right. Hey guys, Iron Mandrill here. Today I'll be sporting a cape with my avatar. No kicks! <laughs> Alright, Edna, I'll get rid of the cape. In today's video, we'll be ranking the top 10 iconic superhero movie suits. All superheroes need an iconic costume so they can strike fear into the hearts of their enemies and inspire hope in civilians. You don't want to fight crime in street clothes that would reveal your secret identity. Besides, if you're going to go out and fight crime every night, it might as well look good doing it. Just make sure not to lose your suit. We will only be discussing movies in this list, so sorry Daredevil. For a bit more diversity in this list, we are going to limit each superhero to one spot. So while certain heroes may deserve more than one outfit in the top 10, I think it would be a more entertaining video to discuss 10 completely unique characters than variations of the same few ones. Without further ado, let's begin. At number 10, we have Aquaman's suit from the movie Aquaman. The Aquaman suit is far more iconic and recognizable than the Justice League Aquaman suit, so we'll be going with this iteration instead. Aquaman used to be treated as the punching bag at DC, largely thanks to Robot Chicken. He was labeled as the guy who talks to fish. The Aquaman. I hear you can talk to fish. However, public perception that Aquaman is lame is starting to change, largely due to being played by the charismatic and cool Jason Momoa. He was even able to make the goofy orange armor from the comics look good. The reason this suit made the top 10 iconic superhero suits list is that it did the impossible and made Aquaman a badass. At number 9 we have an actual suit, the suit of Rorschach from Watchmen. Rorschach's face mask is the inkblot test known as the Rorschach test. This test is a psychological test in which the subject's perceptions of ink plots are recorded and then analyzed using psychological interpretation. For those of you who don't know, Rorschach is a vigilante who allowed the cruelties of life to slowly drive him insane. He's unstable and dangerous and may God have mercy to those who get on his bad side. None of you seem to understand. I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me! He is a mix between Batman, the Punisher, and the Question. He's a mentally scarred orphan turned vigilante detective like Batman. He's a violent murder psychopath who plays judge, jury, and executioner like the Punisher. And the Question was the inspiration for Rorschach, which is why the costumes were so similar. The reason this suit makes the list is that it brought the protagonist of the greatest graphic novel of all time to life on the big screen. At number 8, we have Ant-Man suit from the movie Ant-Man. As a long time Marvel fan, I never thought I would see the day that freaking Ant-Man of all people will get his own movie. And I never expected him to get a suit that would look anything like the comics, and that it did not. The original Ant-Man suit looked like he was wearing a fishbowl of TV antenna sticking out of it. Pretty hard to make that look cool. But luckily that was Hank's costume anyway. Scott's redesign translates much better to the silver screen. Ant-Man's a superhero heist movie, and Scott's super suit perfectly blends the two genres of the movies together. It managed to look both futuristic and retro at the same time, being able to capture the campy comic look without looking too silly. This suit makes our list of bring the most obscure of the original Avengers to life, and making Ant-Man a household name. Thank you, Spider-Man! Well, he's getting there. At number 7, we have Wonder Woman's suit from the movie Wonder Woman. The reason the suit from 2017 is being used instead of her cinematic debut suit is because the suit from Batman v Superman, while similar, was more dull and dreary, just like the rest of that movie. Find him! Save Martha! Ooh. Some people may have issues with Gal Gadot's acting abilities, but nobody can deny she looks the part of Wonder Woman thanks in no small part to the credible superhero suit that she wears. Features all her iconic gear, the tiara, the bracelets, the lasso of truth, the shield, and the sword. This suit makes the list because it finally gave the most iconic female superhero of all time the blockbuster treatment. At number 6 we have Black Panther's suit from Civil War. 
Civil War is easily one of the best movies in the entire MCU, juggling tons of existing characters plus introducing very iconic new ones like Spider-Man and the Black Panther. And what a sick intro it was. Unlike Wonder Woman and Aquaman, I think Black Panther's suit looks better in his first appearance than in his own movie. I think the suits in Black Panther are a pretty major downgrade from the Civil War suit. In Civil War, I think the white patterns contrast the dark suit very nicely on the suit and looks like a tactical battle armor someone might actually wear. The outfit in Black Panther looks more like a black onesie with purple LED lights built in into it. The Civil War Black Panther suit built up massive hype for the character, leading to an equally hyped up solo movie. This suit makes a list for how badass it is and how much of a cultural impact it has made. That's all for part one of this video. Part two will be released sometime in the near future. Let me know what you thought of the list so far in the comments. And if you liked the video, please subscribe for more future content. If you didn't like this video, thank you for listening this long. Have yourselves a great day. Ciao.